Let's keep it simple and answer this question using mathematics. Now this isn't the mathematics that you learned in school and never got to use a day in your life after. This math that I'm about to talk about, I hope you get it, because you could actually use it to enhance your life. Okay, let's begin by looking at a nasty equation. Environmental toxicity plus nutritional deficiencies equals health problems. Now every day our body is exposed to literally thousands of man-made chemicals, and we're facing more of these environmental toxins than we've ever faced in the past. The air we're breathing is more polluted than it's ever been, the water we're drinking is full of chemicals, including pharmaceutical drugs. We are constantly exposed to electronic magnetic fields from our household appliances, smartphones, laptops, and other wireless devices that we keep close to our body 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The synthetic fibers in the clothing that we wear release harmful chemicals that we absorb through our skin. Children and babies are most vulnerable to this. And we know that a lot of the food we're eating is so synthetic that it doesn't even come close to resembling anything you'd find in nature. And then there are the thousands of chemicals used in food processing, storage, and packaging. In fact, if we all did a blood test today, we would find in our blood several man-made chemicals that didn't even exist just a year ago. So what happens to all of these chemicals once we ingest them? Well, let's start by stating the obvious. We are not made or built to handle this amount of industrialization byproducts that we must now all face. But our body does try to break these toxins down and to remove them. But when there's too much, as is the case today, the toxins get deposited into our cells, deep into our tissues, where they can remain there for decades. We call this our body's toxic burden. And we are just beginning to understand the many ways that this impacts our health. Scientists today are seeing clearer links between toxicity and a wide range of chronic diseases. In fact, young people today are getting diseases that were once typically seen only in people several decades older. It's safe to say that our need for detoxification has never been greater. Nobody can argue or debate these points. Fact, we are living in an industrialized world that is becoming increasingly more toxic. Now, one way to help prevent this toxic buildup to begin with is to make sure that we are all well nourished. The better we feed our bodies, the less entry points are created for some of the harmful chemicals, such as the heavy metals in our environment. This brings us to the next part of the equation, and to the fact that the large majority of us suffer from nutrient deficiencies. Now, when we think of malnourishment, we tend to imagine third world or developing countries. It almost sounds ridiculous to associate malnourishment with the rich society that we are living in. But we must realize that the amount of wealth that we've accumulated allows us to do what no other animal living in its natural environment can achieve. To be overfed, but malnourished. Yes, it is possible to maintain or even to gain weight while literally starving ourselves of the real nutrients they require to properly reproduce. And if that's not enough, the chemicals that are replacing real nutrients are becoming increasingly more toxic. I dare you to guess what is in your hot dog. But even if we do remove junk, processed and animal foods from our diet, and we turn back to eating from the soil, back to a whole foods plant-based diet, we still have some obstacles to overcome because of the fact that our fruits, legumes and vegetables today are nowhere close in nutritional value than they were just a few decades ago. The United Nations organized a conference to focus on the environment. It was called the Earth Summit and it was held in Brazil in 1992. And the report concluded that 85% of all nutrients had been depleted from the topsoils of North America. And once again, this is due to the damage we've caused to our environment. Our soils cannot withstand the use and abuse of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides and lack of crop rotations. And so, with diminished soils comes the nutrient deficiencies that we are experiencing today. Let's use broccoli as an example. The USDA tells us that between 1973 and 1997, the amount of calcium in broccoli dropped by 53%. And these deficiencies can be set for all nutrients in all fruits and vegetables. Which brings us back to our equation. An increasingly toxic environment plus nutrient deficiencies equals health problems. 
So it shouldn't be a surprise that cancer just replaced cardiovascular disease as the number one killer in Canada. And that more and more people are suffering from chronic and autoimmune diseases every day. So if you don't know what's going on in your world today, in terms of what's happening to your air, to your ocean, to your land, and in your food supply, and how all these changes are directly impacting your health, then it's time to wake up and realize the facts. Because these aren't imaginary fairy tale issues. These issues are in your blood. It doesn't get more personal than that. And once you realize the facts, you can move forward in a positive way by doing all that is necessary to live well and stay healthy despite of these challenges. It is possible. And as always, it comes down to you and the choices you make.